Tuturu. Hola amigos. Today we have our fourth episode of Hummingbird Spotlight. I'm your host, Har Killer, and today we have uh, have had a lot of interviews sent in. I want to thank you guys for your support because I ran out of uh, interviews since last time and uh, yeah, you guys helped me out so thanks a lot. Today we have uh, Lionface and uh, Suchi. Suchi, yeah, I can't pronounce that correctly. Anyway, uh, today marks the first episode we have a girl on it. I'm gonna try my best to behave, but I can't pr make any promises. I already promised some guy that I wasn't going to act like a pedophile. But, you know me. So, uh, before we start the interview, hopefully t I, I will be able to put up a video soon, because last week I didn't put up a video for uh, episode 3. Basically, uh, because I was uh, a lazy uh, asshole. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be uh, putting it up as soon as possible. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be doing fancy things with it. Just the same old stuff. Maybe next week I'll try something new with uh, Sony Vegas. But for now, I don't know jack shit about it. Really, I have to read up tutorials and shit. Anyway, uh, here's a uh, Lionface interview. Here we go. Hello, everyone. This is Lionface, and this is my interview for Heart Killer's HB Spotlight. Yay, first girl interview. Uh, oh, my geez. real name is oh, Jessica, voice. although I prefer everyone use oh, my man. handle, Lionface, or currently Sheen's and Lion. Um, oh. It is actually one an old family name, and that's where Lion comes from. So. Interesting fact number one. Um, ASL, I am female, um, as you can hopefully tell from my voice. Of course you are. <laughs> um, I am 23, and I currently live in a, the southern part of the United States, so we have fun here. Let's see. Um... I currently hold a bachelor's degree in psychology and English, and currently do not have a job in either one of them, of course. Surprise. My current jobs, I have two. I have a f almost full-time job, 30 hour a week, at a small real estate agency. Um, and most of my time is spent in the office, where I am usually doing work or on the chat room. And I also work at an undisclosed game store that I can't really talk about, I don't think, maybe because of representation issues. So, work at a realty and a game store. Interests and hobbies, I have a lot of those. Obviously, anime, because otherwise I wouldn't really be on Hummingbird. <laughs> um, I also like to draw. Um, I have drawn both the avatars that I'm currently using, except for the Shinsen Gumi uh, cloak, the blues, which I took from a Hakuoki picture. But the rest of it I drew. Other hobbies, I also like to write. I like to write uh, intellectual, factual things. I like to do reviews as well for shows, but I've only written one so far, but I'm working on it. Um, I also like to write fiction, although I've done a lot. I haven't done very much of that lately, as well as poems. I don't think I've written a poem in like a year, a year and a half. I also like to play video games. I'm currently playing lots and lots and lots of Pokemon, but I'm also replaying Jade Empire for probably the umpteenth time. And occasionally play Guild Wars, so if you have Guild Wars or a 3DS friend code thing, to let me know, and uh, we can trade Pokemans and stuff. Uh, the first anime I watched, well, okay, everyone does the category, so I guess I'll do it too. First anime I watched when I didn't really know what anime was, was probably Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Um, and of course it has its own little special place in my heart, even though I will probably never watch it again. Um... Because I recently tried to rewatch the first season and that was just utter pain. First anime I watched where I knew it was an anime. Um, actually, I didn't really understand anime when I watched Tenchi Muyo either. But that was the first show that I watched on Toonami. I think the first show that I really knew what it was was uh, probably Yu Hakusho maybe. I think at one point I realized that Tenchi Muyo was an anime. So I guess I'll just stick with 
first one I didn't know was Pokemon, and the first one where I knew or figured out where it was while watching it was uh, Tenchi Mio. Um, I found Hummingbird because Arcada, uh, an anime reviewer, I'm pretty sure all of you know about him on YouTube, also has a Hummingbird account even though he is not active whatsoever. And I decided to join because a uh, new anime reviewer named the Otaku Chick also had one. So I figured, well, all these reviewers have one. Demo has one. Otaku Chick has one. Arcada has one. I might as well have one. I don't really like... Like, Mal is fine, but it's just not really community-driven, or I didn't really feel like it was. So coming to Hummingbird and actually being a part of the few forums and being a part of the community is really nice. Uh, tell us about me. Well, uh, you know a whole lot already. I have a Kohai, his name is Akari, and I have lots of friends, lots and lots of friends. Uh, I like to go out, I like to drink with my friends. Um, I'm pretty much an introvert, so that's fun. I like to just chill at home, watch anime, play video games, do whatever, and I prefer to talk to my friends online or sparsely in real life. I like to, I like to dedicate um, a large period of time to friends and then large periods of time to myself instead of interspersed with uh, small periods of friends over and over and over again. I like to dedicate large amounts of time to hang out with my friends at a time instead of just a couple hours. I am trying to get back into doing art, but I'm just doing a really, really bad job of it, to be honest with you. I promise people that I'll do art for them, and I don't do it, and I feel bad, and they never call me out on it for some reason, I guess because they just want to be nice. Um, I've also been trying to dabble with video editing as well so that I can get reviews out on videos instead because most people I feel like don't read reviews anymore. They don't like to go to blogs or go to the hummingbird section of it and read it. They like to watch it instead because it's a lot easier that way. But uh, I'm kind of grasping it, but I don't know. The only one I've done so far is for the first first impressions of Sorted Online and uh, I haven't uploaded it obviously. But I did editing and stuff, so I guess that was pretty fun. Uh, my favorite anime... I don't really have a favorite anime. It, it doesn't really change either. I have like a perpetual top five or something for the most part. A uh, perpetual like top three. But um, I think the... let's see. The f okay, I've had little periods of time with anime, so I guess we can might as well cover that. I watched Pokemon and Sailor Moon and Digimon and a little bit of Monster Ranchers when I was a kid, and then I stopped watching. And then I watched Tenshi Muyo when I was, whenever that aired on Toonami, I don't even remember, I think 2001, maybe? When I was like a 12, I think. I was probably, I was, no, yeah, I was probably like 12, so 2002 or something. And I watched uh, Dragon Ball Z around the time, and uh, whatever um, else came on. I don't, I don't, I didn't watch Gundam. I was not a big fan of robots, even though I liked Big O also. I watched Big O. Um, and then a little bit later, a couple of years later, Roni Kenshin and Yu Hakusho and all those shows were out and I really, really got into anime. When I got into high school, um, I guess I was, I guess that means I was 14, 15, um, they had released the Full Alchemist manga, the first volume of it in the States, and I thought it was probably the best shit I'd ever seen, and, uh, they were talking about an anime and I was super excited, so... I watched that anime and I got really into it. I wrote horrible fan fiction and all that crap. And uh, I read the manga up until about volume four or five, and then I started reading it online. And I haven't finished it, um, if that tells you anything. I also got into reading uh, Shonen Jump, so I bought like a year and a half's worth of Shonen Jump as it was being released and read Naruto, Shaman King. I read Yu Hakusho, even though I knew what was going on. I read. Uh, what else was there? Death Note was uh, in Shonen Jump, or at least it was um, it was premiered in Shonen Jump, and I read all of that, and I can't watch the anime now because I read the manga, and I it's it's superior, um, so that's why it's on my drops list. And then uh, I stopped I stopped kind of watching anime, and I got back into video games, and I don't I'm not very good at doing or con I'm not really good at juggling hobbies. But um, I'm still I'm getting the hang of it. And around the time I went into college, uh, a friend of mine got me to watch Evangelion. And um, it was pretty much amazing. And I got back in anime, and uh, I've been a little on and off with it. But I've been pretty persistently an anime fan and watching anime now. Uh, I think in the last six months or eight months or so, I've been pretty serious in, in it. So 
my top animes are probably uh, Evangelion and Serial Experiments Lane, just because it's freaking brilliant. I love it. What anime do you dislike, and what do you dislike? And what do you dislike in anime in general? Um, there's a few I dislike. I purposely will go. Recently, I've been going out of my way to watch bad anime, uh, either for the lulls or because um, I feel like if you really want to be able to enjoy something that you really like, you really like something that's high quality, you need to also understand what bad is, because otherwise, things that are actually pretty average are going to seem terrible to you. Um, which isn't really highly reflected, uh, of course, now that I say that, in everybody's rating system, because it seems like a bunch of people on YouTube will rate an anime that they don't like as a 6 out of 10, which is just stupid. They clearly don't know how numbers work. Uh, let's see. Sorted Online, I know, I know. Uh, Sorted Online was probably the biggest disappointment I have felt, um, other than Glass Lip this season. Um, an anime for a while, actually. I hadn't really watched an anime I disliked and stuck with it, or I hadn't really tried to watch an anime that uh, I might have disliked. And then Sword Art Online just kind of was like, oh look, I have all this potential, and look at how pretty I am, and all these. This is a great concept, even though it's not incredibly original, but it's still nice, isn't it cool? And I'm just gonna fucking suck, because the writer doesn't know what the hell character development and arcs are, and consistency. But that's totally not yeah, here that's neither here nor there. Things I dislike about anime in general are um I hate sexual fan service. Not all fan service. I like fan service when it's giving a nod to another anime or giving a nod to another piece of media. Um, but I don't like sexual fan service if it really kinda kills the show. I typically don't watch I uh, like I'm probably never gonna watch High School of the Dead for this reason. And um just I don't like I don't like the fan service and I don't like shows that simply are out there to make money and pander. And I understand that most anime are, is out there to make money, but there's clearly a difference between wanting to make money, but also really caring about what's happening in your show and wanting to deliver a good narrative to an audience and making an anime so that you can display your uh, character designs and people cosplay it to, for advertisement and make little statues and all that crap so let's see if you have a superpower what would it be uh if i had a superpower i would teleport because teleporting would be great i wouldn't have to wait to get places i'd just be there obviously i'd want to be able to teleport with my clothes and stuff and i wouldn't end up you know in walls uh worst incident that you would happen that had happened to you that caused you embarrassment uh honestly i try to avoid embarrassment as much as possible but there was this one time in high school no middle school i was in middle school i was making out with my boyfriend in the back of the car and not being subtle about it and uh, my mom made fun of me later on the car ride home which i totally deserved but it is it was completely just totally mortifying i was just dude pda pda is terrible never never do that to people um funniest coincidence that happened to you uh i i don't really know a funny coincidence i can't think of one off the top of my head i should have read through all of these questions before answering them um i don't know earlier today uh, i went uh to a gas station to pick up a drink and my friend was there from college and i didn't really think that he'd be there at all so that was kind of funny but um, I don't know. Well, coincidences don't really seem to have. Usually I consider it a coincidence if I run into somebody I know. But uh, this interview is going on too long. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, have a great day. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> thought it was... Um, <clears throat> thought it was... Uh, great uh, line face. Thank you very much for saying your interview uh next we have uh with a sushi sushi here we go hey guys i'm babe sushi babe so i decided to take part of this hummingbird spotlight the um the thing is it's meant to be like an interview but because heart killer isn't actually interviewing us like on Skype or anything, we, we have to like read these questions ourselves and answer our question, our own questions which makes us look like a dickhead. Um, so I decided to do something a little more different from the others and plan a script that 
answers all the questions that Heart Killer needs us to answer. Yes, I am reading a script right now. Um, but to make me sound more natural, I, um, if I stuff up, I want to re-record the sentence. So every stuff up will just just like stay on there. Like I'm just stumbling already. So yeah, you guys know why I need my script now for my videos. Okay. Um. So yeah, I need I need my script. Um, I am nothing without it. <laughs> Okay, um, beware that during my time recording this, I have a bit of a cold. Okay, here we go. My name is Kevin and I live in Australia. My parents are from Vietnam, which means that I am 100% Asian. I turned 18 years old not too long ago. Um, so like I can finally stop lying on porn sites and when they ask me whether I'm 18 or not because I'll be like, yes I am and I'm not lying. So that's great. I love being 18. Um, I am a graduate and I am currently doing further education. I'm actually doing TAFE which is a lower level of university. I'm not actually stupid. Um, it's because I decided to take it easy on myself in the final year in high school due to personal reasons. Right now I need to study digital media and get a diploma so I can get into filming in university. Yes, I am planning to be the guy who does video editing or filming as his career. I also started making YouTube videos a few months ago. Um, I pretty much make anime reviews, parodies and rants in my channel right now um, and I'm like sitting around, no, no, not sitting but um, I have like 426 subscribers at the moment but it's, it's, it's still going up. Um, uh, where, where am I in my script? Um, oh my god I lost it. Let me read. No, uh, no, I'm not supposed to edit stuff out. Um, okay, so it's been a very fun experience so far and I'm constantly improving. The person who inspired me to be an anime YouTuber was actually Goat Jesus, Spazzy and Demolition D+. I was like, damn, I want to be these guys, like I want to be as good as them. Um, I asked Goat Jesus on how I can construct an a anime video reveal and he gave me a lot of helpful advice. He's a very nice guy, so yeah, been a very helpful guy. Um, during the time I was YouTubing and still being very unknown, a YouTuber named Alex Takami commented on one of my YouTube videos and complimented it, which took me by surprise because commenting on uh, because I commented on his videos by giving him a face palm on one of his top 10 anime videos because I'm a huge top 10 anime video hater. I seriously hate those videos, but yeah. Um, I was kind of being like a dickhead. So I was so surprised when he decided to be my friend. So like, he asked for my Skype, so I did. We pretty much became friends and I got to know him and he was actually a really awesome guy, so... No. He's actually so awesome. Yeah. Um... So yeah, and the next thing you know, he actually made me more known in the anime community. He also let me talk to the other anime YouTubers on Skype and it makes me happy that I got to know them more. And so yeah, I really appreciated what Alex did for me and I reckon he's a really great guy. He actually um, included me in his Sword Art Online podcast and all. And yeah, during that podcast I was fucking nervous as hell, so yeah. Podcasts are really, really not my thing. Just, this is not for me because uh, me being live, I'm actually more of a shy guy. I'm actually not as talkative as other people. Um, I know that I have like very vulgar humor and I don't say, like, make funny stuff, but other than that, I'm not that entertaining live. Um, oh my god, where, where, where's, where am I on my script? Um, Alright, and yeah, so because of this guy and giving me the spotlight and all, um, I actually became way more known and all, and it actually gives me a lot more motivation to continue this YouTube thing as my hobby. So yeah, even though it is quite time consuming and we have to put a lot of effort into it, and I'm still using iMovie. <laughs> okay, so, alright, I'm going to shut up about my YouTubing now. 
I'm also a b-boy aka a break dancer. I've been dancing for nearly 5 years. Last year in 2013, I was practicing so much and attending competitions. Competitions. Blech. I've actually made it to the finals with my crew but we end up losing. Damn it. But now this year, I was very lazy. Pretty much I pretty much practice only once a week now, but I still love breakdancing. I also play games, I love games and all. I'm actually a League of Legends faggot. Um, my summoner name is Lady Bumhole. Yes, that is my summoner name on League of Legends. So yeah, and yes, I have gotten hilarious reactions from it. I also like playing JRPGs on the PS3, like Tales of Celia, for example. And screw Final Fantasy. Um, and here's one of the most obvious hobby that you sh guys should be expecting. Um, I love watching anime. The first anime that got me into watching anime was Bleach and Love Hina. This was during the time when I was 12 years old, so I had, well, not so good taste. Um, but yeah, uh, my taste has changed a lot throughout the whole years and, you know, I'm not going to get into the details on what sort of anime I like, but I will list my top 5 favorite anime, which is Requiem for the Phantom, Shin Sekayori, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Maru Penguin Drum, and Pula Maji Madoka Magica. Now, the anime, pro uh, the anime I probably disliked the most was, of course, Sword Art Online, which was the anime that caused me to become a critic. Um, but I'm not going to go into detail as to why I disliked it, since it's going to be the same generic explanation like other anime critics make. I dislike uh, my dislike for Sword Art Online. Oh, there. Oh my god, I'm so sleepy. My dislike for Sword Art Online during 2012 has got me to start trolling Crunchyroll. Yeah, trolling the Crunchyroll forums. Because Sword Art Online kind of. Oh my god, I'm stuffing up. Before Sword Art Online became the hate trend, I was actually one of those guys to take a huge piss at it at first. Please don't call me hipster. Um. Because, no, I don't like being called that. So these constant threads I made about how much I hate Soul Art Online um, pretty much caused me to get banned from Crunchyroll forums, so um, yeah. Because of that, I converted to MyAnimeList.net and became quite addicted to the forums. During my time on my anime list, I started to keep track on all the anime I've watched and gave them ratings and all. Um, do so I've heard a lot of things about Hummingbird from the my anime list forums. So yeah, there were lots of users from Mao who were bitching about Hummingbird and I decided to check it out for myself. And it looked pretty cool but it didn't make me become an official member there yet. So I continued to, I continued to use my anime list. I think I've been using the site for like over half a year, but then a dickhead hacker fucked up the site and deleted many accounts that were well known. So my one was picked and it got deleted. So, but thank god I exported it before things got shit, so I was like fuck you Mal, I'm converting to Hummingbird. And that's when I became a member of Hummingbird and I introduced myself to the others. And oh boy was the experience in this site fun. Josh, the creator of Hummingbird, gave me permission to troll the whole Hummingbird community. I created an account called Lily Chu and decided to mess with everyone. Lily Chu, yeah. Lily Chu is pretty much a persona of everything that I hate in a person. Pretty much someone who is obnoxiously stupid, love attention. Uh, 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 uh. Let me start again. Pretty much someone who is obnoxiously stupid and they love attention whoring and they're pretty much arrogant and such and so on. However, I stopped since I was bored of the account now, but I still troll a lot in other sites. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just looking at these questions Heart Killer is presenting and this seems to be so fucking out of place. So if you notice, I didn't answer a few of the questions, but that was my interview, I mean that's what he calls it even though he really isn't interviewing us. Um, 
since we're not directly talking. And yeah, you should really get Skype Heart, heart Killer. Alright, so that's so I'm done. So this has been Sushi Babe and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, Sushi, for sending in your uh, interview. And thanks a lot to Lionface for sending in your interviews. I am so sorry for my behavior because I'm really uh, terrible at controlling my uh, self. Yeah, I need to practice uh, self-restraint. But <coughs> anyway, uh, today we have our fourth episode done, you know. That's fantastic. Uh, I don't really know when Josh and Muck and Demi will uh, send in their uh, interviews, but hopefully it's soon because I really want to interview Josh and Muck, make it an all uh, staff episode by bearing them together. And yeah, basically. Yeah, so uh, this episode was good I guess I don't know really uh, what the what else to add I'm hoping I can get some suggestion suggestions basically from you guys and uh, yeah this is uh, the hummingbird spotlight wrapping up this is your host Harkless signing out Doo -doo -doo.